What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new review for you today. This time I'll be taking a look at Dungeon Siege 3 for the Xbox 360. First off, we gotta ask ourselves, what is this game? Dungeon Siege 3 is an action RPG dungeon crawler developed by Obsidian Entertainment, published by Square Enix, and had a North American release of June 21st, 2011. In this game, you can play as one of fair four characters that you start off by picking, which is Lucas, a warrior class, Katarina, a long-range rogue fighter, and Jolly, an archon, who's kind of a mix of both a warrior and a mage, or Reinhardt, the spellcaster, or mage class. When you begin the game, you're trying to recruit allies after a civil war has completely broken out and return people to the Legion as it's returned, with you being one of the last of the 10th Legionnaires. This game has elements of both massive RPGs like Skyrim, as well as more action-oriented games, such as another Xbox 360 game, Too Human. Each character has two unique stances that they can use, in each of these stances give them unique abilities that are only in those stances. One of the nice things about this game is that you can easily flip-flop between the stances which you can see in some of this gameplay here. This makes it very easy to be able to react depending on what's going on and use your various abilities which you're going to be using all the time. If you've ever played games like Diablo Torchlight or Sacred 2 Fallen Angel, the gameplay in this game is going to be nothing new to you. All in all, it's solid throughout. The controls for Dungeon Siege 3 are easy enough to pick up and grasp, but be forewarned, you're going to be dodging with a left trigger a lot in this game, whether it be dodging enemy fire or dodging enemy attacks. Honestly, the only downside in this game is the music. It's not that it's bad, it just feels a bit lackluster for an RPG game. So, overall, is Dungeon Siege 3 worth getting? Well, if you enjoy dungeon crawler RPGs, like the aforementioned Diablo series, or Torchlight, or one of the RPG games that I personally also enjoy, Sacred 2 Fallen Angel, then yes! Check this game out, give it a try. If you're new here and you enjoyed this review, please subscribe. As I said, I'm Alex with Ask the Cheese Gaming. And also, if you like the video, leave me a like, a comment, and a share. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next review, everybody.